off this morning with First News newspaper here in Nigeria. And on the front page of the First News, we're seeing the big story here that says, Last minute deal. PDP Atiku placate Southwest, Southeast ahead of 2023 elections. These are some of the things we've been talking about. Seed Senate Presidency and uh, SGF to both regions, respectively. But would we say that this is good enough for the Southeast and for the Southwest? Um, also, uh, we're, we're seeing here why I resigned as PDP Board of Trustees Chairman, according to Jibrin. Stop hobnobbing with Wiki. Rivers APC tells Tinubu governors uh, vows to withdraw support for party's presidential flag bearer. 2023, if Labour Party is elected, insecurity in Nigeria will be the end. And this is according to Dati Baba Ahmed. 2023 polls, uh, Paris confraternity demands Buhari's neutrality. Six withdrawal of three REC nominees. Mbaka not removed as head of adoration ministry. Catholic diocese. Um, says cleric will return to ministry after solitude. It seems to me that Mbaka, I mean, we're going to talk about talking about this much later, but it seems that what's, what is going on might be that they're trying to keep him away during this period so he's not involved in politics and then after the everything is, you know, after the elections, he probably would then be brought back. Yes, to maybe, yes, that, that's a possibility. Yeah, maybe the monastery is the naughty corner in, the, in the Catholic terms. All right, uh, moving on with the front page of First News. Conferring Education Minister with National Honor insults to Nigerian students, says Nans. Of course, we know that these students have been at home for over seven months now. And they're conferring an, uh, an, a National Honor on, on the Education Minister. Lots of people have asked, you know, what exactly is the premium we're placing on education in Nigeria? Umahi speaks on Tinubu's display of proof of life, talking about the video of uh, Tinubu cycling yesterday. 2023 Senate race, withdrawal of face defeat, Etia Bet advises Akbabio. Allah Afin's tool, nine sidelined, ruling houses agree to present joint candidate. Footballer collapses, dies on the Lagos field. That was such a sad story or sad game. I got to see that. You know, just a reminder that we must all be, we must pay attention and not just take everything as a joke. Also, we need to learn, I think CPR, first aid, signs to look out for. We're not very well equipped in conversations such as that. No, we're not. You know, um, uh, you know and of course, on a personal level, I think every individual needs to um, you have some very basic, you know, first aid training, you know, and some CPR training. As and, you know, aside that, you know, it's a quick reminder that we still live in a society that um, first aid is not the easiest thing to get, yes. you know, by. Emergency health service is not the easiest thing to get by. You're not going to get an ambulance, you know, if you suddenly collapse, you know, on the road, you know, anywhere in Lagos. You, you would very likely not get, you know, an ambulance in 30 minutes no, or in wouldn't. maybe an hour, you know. And so just a reminder. Um, that everyone needs to, you know, keep in their minds, you know, while they go about their daily activities. Because they start to teach in schools, teaching offices. Yes. What are the signs to look out for when someone is having a stroke, when someone is having a seizure? What do you do? I had to unlearn that when someone is having a seizure, you don't put spoon in their mouth because that's a myth or that's something that is believed to to be the next point of action. Yeah. You know, they say put a spoon in their mouth so that they don't, so come, don't, so they don't swallow their tongue. Yeah, These things, like that. they're not, they're not, you know, they're not the case. They're wrong. So we must all try our best to learn and ensure, ensure that we are teaching our students, teaching workers and science to look out for. We really do um, hope that his family and friends uh, have the fortitude to bear the loss. Just uh, final stories here on the first news. NDLEA, NDLEA discovers the 10 millionaire appeals of Tramador, worth 8.8 .8 billion in Lekki Mansion. We're going to be discussing this much later. And final story, we're opposed to violent agitation in Nigeria, says Ohanese. That's all I'm taking this morning on the first news. All right, moving on to the news direct, also here in Nigeria. Um, it says NDLEA arrests another billionaire drug baron in Lagos, recovers 8.8 .8 billion hour worth of Tramador from mansion in residential estate. Also, Oshun gubernatorial primaries, federal, federal high court judgment dead on arrival, Oyetola's counsel Ibrahim Lawal says. SON and Lupin to strengthen collaboration on enforcement of lubricants standards. And also on the news direct this morning, 2023, amidst independence holiday, APC, PDP, LP's presidential campaign rocks southwest with large turnout and Nigeria re-elected as ITU council member. Uh, those are the major stories on the News Direct this morning. All right, now let's head over to South Africa on the front page of the Sowetan. Payback time for ANC as tail wags dog in Joburg. The new Johannesburg mayor, Dada Morero, 
And uh, we can see here, top of lion's share of executive seats for minority parties as they decide how to split power. We'll meet with the ANC on Wednesday and tell them this is what we want. The details of the story is on page 3 and on page 15. We kick off World Cup series. And um, still on the front page, dry land. Residents shut town down over water. We have the details of that on page 2. Frantic month for boxing chiefs. Zwayn Riverio hope to build an improved showings on the back page. And uh, final story here, taken for a ride. Prasa promises Soweto trains. And the details of that on page four. That's all I'm taking on the Soweto time this morning. All right, moving on to Tanzania this morning. So what's on the Citizen newspapers? Um, not very many of them, but, you know, the big one here uh, says, Samia reads ministers the riot act. The head of state swears in newly appointed ministers and says members of the cabinet must honor their oaths and work within their boundaries and observe collective responsibility. Um, of course, there's a quote there that says, We solemnly swear to protect and defend the constitution of the United Republic of Tanzania. All right, also, DARPOT performance rises 21% in five years. The story is on page three. 60,000 higher learning slots yet to be filled on page four. And uh, top of the screen, national. Appeal, play key role in graft fight, African media urged on page 5. And in business and energy, substation set to slash top miners' uh, power costs. Finally, it's time to consider reforms in, or is it time rather, to consider reforms in literature.